Hey everybody, it's Super Wolf. We got welcome back to some more Legend of Zelda. That's it. That's all it's called. <laughs> Uh, in the previous episode, we did all this stuff, and we got, actually, a lot of stuff. And we got the new shield, and we got a lot of pieces of heart. And what we're going to be doing now is we're just going to be farming some rupees. Holy crap, I pressed the right trigger. I accidentally pressed the right trigger. So if this is a hundo rupees, we're pretty much safe, but I doubt it. Oh, only 30? We're getting there, we're getting there. So um, the next area that I want to go to is we've got to just keep going right uh, yeah, as I said in the previous episode, we're going to need a ton more rupees. Um, now that we've got the blue fire, we're pretty much safe. Um, but that's all we need. Because we can now burn the bushes down, which, you know, hold mysteries and shit. <laughs> so, I'm going to skip all of these. Okay, maybe not skip, but run into? <laughs> all of them goddamn the uh, Octorox. So anyway, here we go the next area. So this one, I'm going to pause the game here, is right here in the center. Right here. So I want to go, okay, not bomb. I don't need to bomb. I need to burn. I didn't say, yeah, it should be the same thing. All right, burn. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, what? Did that not work? Why did it not work? That's where it says it is. Am I in the right area? Guess what, guys? I'm not in the right area. Area. No, I'm not. It wasn't that one. I'm not in the right area for that one. It's basically the same layout as a different area. But um, it's right here. Burn that down. Grab yourself some more rupees or repus, whatever you want to call them. All right, there we go. Ten? Really? All right, I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna head. Yeah, you see, this is the, like basically the exact same layout as that up part, but it's just not. Holy crap! I just burnt him. Get in here. Get yourself some more rupees. Is this enough? Is this going to be enough? Boosh! Yes, it is! Alright. So, we can now go ahead and head to um, the freaking blue ring. And it's probably, like, the best item that we can get at the moment. So, I really want it. That's why I'm going to go for it right now. So, we've got a long way to go. And the next dungeon is actually near the beginning. Um, it's pretty close, actually. I think it's near enough... Oh, no, it's not. It's quite a long way away. Um... It's called, the next level that we've got to go to is called the moon, but it's not the moon, which is stupid. So, I don't know why Zelda Dungeon named it that. It probably is called the moon, but I'm just being an idiot. So, whatever. I want to skip that Zora. I'm going to go north here instead of uh, east, north, east, south, west, instead of west. So, um, I love this magical shield, by the way. It kicks ass. It's like, oh, I'm just going to take that shot. And I'm like, yeah, bro, you take that shot. And then it works. That's what happens. <laughs> All right, so it's the second one, isn't it? Remember from the previous episode? The second... Holy crap of heart. Um, the second one that we need to kill, and it's a super speed one, and it just nearly killed me. Disappeared. 250 rupees. I got 255. So, boosh. Grab the blue ring, and that is it. We are now Blue Link! I I didn't realize that myself, you know. Um, when I always used to play this game, I used to think, oh, you stay as Green Link. But we are Blue! We're Blue Link! And our special def- Well, our def special defense? Our defense is, like, super high now. And we can't select it. But we are we can take a lot more shit now. <laughs> so basically, what I'm done- We're done with this area now. And there is probably some more stuff that I can do. But uh, I don't want to really do it now. Actually, no, that is pretty much everything. So what I want to go, I want to go to the moon. Okay then, guys. So now that I've just skipped that, um, it saves us a lot of time. And you guys know where I am. I just basically went back to the beginning of the game. That is it. All right, so there's probably a secret up here that I want to get. Possibly, my boy, somewhere? No, okay. There's no secret there. So I just wasted two bombs doing that. Could have saved them. I did not. So one thing I like about this game is that there's like no up is there like upgrades for weight size of like bags and stuff? I don't know. <clears throat> so uh, levers! At least I'm killing them one hit now, which is so awesome. So uh, we are going to the next dungeon now, which is called the moon, yes. And we need full life to do this, but I don't have full life. So it pretty much sucks. Am I going the right way here? Of course I'm not. What do you think? You think this is a super whoop through guy? Wait a minute, was I going the right way? Yeah, what? I'm looking at a map now, 
and I was going the right way. <sighs> Seriously. Ah, <sighs> what? Oh crap! Seriously though. Ah, <laughs> block, blockage. All right, I'm going up. Up, 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 up. All right, and then we want to go right. Yeah, I only need to look at the map to get to this next area because it is a pretty obscure area. Why am I up here? I press the start button. Oh my god, we need to go left. I'm going the right. Alright, skip him. <laughs> Block. <laughs> Alright, that was awesome. Alright, north here. Alright, tac... These aren't tac these are Octorox. Octorox aren't too bad. See if we can farm a little bit of life off these guys. Oh my god, I'm getting smashed. Alright, <laughs> there we go. Bomb. Nice, that's what I needed as well. Okay, so we've got a lot of stuff. Uh, I'm going to head and quit my bombs here. So let's go ahead and head to the moon. Here we go. This is the moon. This is a really, really horrible um, dungeon. Because it looks weird as shit. <laughs> so, um, there's uh, 12 rooms altogether in here. Um, these guys, serpents, I think they're called, or something like that, um, only actually attack you when they lock onto you. Uh, oh, no, they're not. They're called uh, moldorms. Oh, no, they're not. They're called ropes. <laughs> I thought they were called uh, moldorms. But, um... There is statues in this dungeon that will fire beams at you. So you basically want to watch out for these guys. So ropes are pretty much easy to kill. They only attack you if they get a clear line of sight. Like this. But um, they're pretty simple if you can get like a, a good distance between you and them. It's a pretty weird layout of the dungeon, I know. But um, it's just like basically all up. Wait. Uh, all up and a tiny bit left. But uh, anyway, straight off the bat, there's the compass. That's all I want. Um, I really want the, um, the weapon, the dungeon weapon, well, the dungeon item. Um, now that we've got that and we've got the compass, I want to go left, and we're going to head through here, and there's probably going to be six ropes in here, or something like that. One, two, three, four, oh, five, okay. Uh, anyway, heart piece, oh, crap, a uh, piece of heart there. Well, not a piece of heart, it's a heart container. All right, is this the? This is the main room. So I've got my surroundings. I know where I am now. So there was the middle room. I want to go left here, and go and see what I can get through here. I really want the map, actually, so I can. Oh, there's the key and some ropes. Holy crap! Rope, come here. Attack me! Huh? Oh, that was double edge. Oh, quadruple! All right, so I killed all the ropes. Um, so where I need to go now is I need to go right, and then I could have gone north, but I went right first so i'm pretty much safe safe bro so i'm gonna go north here oh another key oh moblins didn't expect to see these guys in here actually obviously i didn't um all right next area these guys there's a map there's the dungeon map told you it was weird didn't i and um, there's probably a secret hole that we can blow in the wall somewhere so <sighs> you know whatever i want to kill these moblins it's one hit oh two hits so I'm not too bothered about being two hits, but um, wasn't it fr three before? All right, easy kills right there. All right, ah, oh, I love this dungeon actually. It's pretty fun. Uh, rope, kill me, thanks, bro. Whatever, thank you. All right, slow down time. Freeze all the enemies actually. Get yourself a key. Nice. All right, so I want to go north and basically up, and then I swear. Oh crap. Yeah, this isn't fair, you know. Holy crap! I'm not staying in here. There's got to be something in that room. There's definitely got to be something in that room. Um, Where was the room where we got the map? Was that down? That was down, wasn't it? It was in here. Because there's a secret uh, bombable walls in here that I didn't know. I think if you bomb the north wall and the south wall, you can actually get to the next areas um, pretty quickly. So you can just like basically run through here. Yeah. You can just run straight through the dungeon. So what I need to do now is now that we've blown that up and got the key, um, this room, this next room doesn't really have any significance. I just need to blow up the north wall as quickly as I can. So um, blow that up, blow that up, blow that up, go. All right, awesome. Doesn't really have any significance, that room. So holy crap. I'm going to take these, kill these bats. Or keys, that's what they're called, keys. Um, the thingy traps are hard. The thingies these guys and um, maybe there's another bombable wall 
Yes, obviously. I haven't gone uh, left yet. Um, which sucks. Because <laughs> I really want a bit more life before I take on the mid-boss. Um, I think there's a mid-boss. Uh, it's pretty easy. I'm going to go left here. going to use my key. Could not have used it. Didn't have to. Yeah, I think if it's... Oh, ropes. I'm going to kill these guys. Easy kills. Easy kills, actually. Is there any like life here? Holy crap, I'm on one life. Alright, this is the mid-boss. This... Well, it's not... It's a Moldorm. This isn't really a mid-boss. It's pretty simple, actually. You just got to kill all of the, uh, the fireballs. That's basically it. It's pretty simple. You just don't know which way they're going to go. And I got a life from that. And a key. Alright. Um, I'm going to go south here because that's it. Um, I don't think I went south yet. So I'm going to take these and I'm going to kill you and then I'm going to kill you. So that will not this door. And I think that's pretty much it. I've already been in this room, I think. But I'm not too bothered because we're just we're safe. We're all right for a bit. And all I really want now is the dungeon item, uh, which should be pretty much close. I think it might be to the right here. Maybe I could bomb a hole in that wall. Maybe. Yep. And the dungeon item should be just through here. Uh, what do, do Dongo dislike smoke? Okay. You remember that saying, don't you? It's uh, That saying's in the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. It's in pretty much every Zelda uh, Ocarina of Time as well. Um... Well, we, oh, there isn't a dungeon item in this area. Oh, wait. Yeah, there is. Yeah, there's a um, there's a secret boomerang. I'm actually looking at a guide now. Um, remember when I said that room that doesn't have any significance with all of that freaking moblins? Yeah? You remember that? Well, it seems that that room does have some significance. It's got a freaking magical boomerang in it, and I gotta kill these moblins to get it. Holy crap, that was perfect. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is awesome. I am absolutely smashing this. Holy crap. I haven't been hit yet. Just safe. Holy crap. And grab that. Magical boomerang, grab that. Grab your heart. Get out of here. Simple. We've got the magical boomerang. That was your dungeon item. It's just an upgrade of the first dungeon item. That's it. Mind you, I actually got uh, three dungeon items in the first dungeon, which was the boomerang, the bow, which I can't use yet because I've had no arrows. The boomerang, the bow, and the... Bombs. That was it. So, I'm at full life, even though I just got hit. Okay. So, the Dongo's Dislike Smoke is a pretty cool boss. I'm not going to lie. And guess what the boss is? It's one Dodongo. I mean, like, in Ocarina of Time, you kill, like, 50 of them. So I'm going to get some bombs here. I've got six, which is safe. But here we go. Here's the Dodongo. So um, he does breathe fire, I think. Um, but just feed him bombs. Does he breathe fire? I'm not sure exactly what his attacks are. But two bombs and he's done. Bosh. Ten hearts. Sweet. And there we go, guys. There is our next dungeon down. So, next time on The Legend of Zelda, we are going to be heading to... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. The Manji? Huh. I'll see you guys then.